The Jack Benny program, transcribed and presented by Lucky Strike. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. For Lucky Strike means fine tobacco, richer tasting. Fine tobacco. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky Strike. Lucky Strike. This is Don Wilson, friends. As a smoker, you know how vitally important freshness is to your enjoyment of a cigarette. Well, the makers of Lucky's know that, too. That's why every pack of Lucky's is extra tightly sealed to keep in the better taste that has made Lucky's famous. Yes, any Lucky smoker will tell you that Lucky's taste better. Not only fresher, but cleaner and smoother, too. That's because fine, naturally mild, good-tasting tobacco goes into every Lucky. As you know, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And Luckies are definitely made better. Made round and firm and fully packed to draw freely and smoke evenly. Yes, fine tobacco in a better made cigarette just naturally adds up to better taste for you. So next time you buy cigarettes, try a carton of Lucky Strike. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky Strike. Lucky Strike. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack Billy with Mary Livingston, Rochester, Dennis Day, Bob Crosby, the Sportsman Quartet, and yours truly, Don. gentlemen, it's Easter Sunday, and in cities all over the country, people are parading. Right now, in Beverly Hills, Jack is getting ready for his stroll down Wilshire Boulevard, as is his custom every Easter. At the moment, he's taking a shower, and Rochester is laying out his clothes. Hmm. Mr. Barry's been in that shower a long time, but he always stays in there pretty long. He'd get through sooner if he'd sing in the shower like everybody else instead of playing his violin. <laughs> Clever the way he tied that brush on the end of his violin bow. I'll bet Hyman can't play Love and Bloom and scrub his back at the same time. Oh, Rochester. Rochester. Yes, boss. I'm through with my shower. Hand me my towel. Your towel? All right, the Statler's. <laughs> Don't be so technical when I'm freezing. Here you are. And here's your shorts. Thanks. See, that shower was invigorating. You know, Rochester, since I've been dieting, I feel like a new man. I look so much trimmer, don't I? You look about the same to me, boss. Oh, don't be silly. I bet I lost a lot of weight. I'll get on the scale and show you. <laughs> Let's see, here's the card. Let me see what it says. You would be a financial success if you weren't such a spendthrift. <laughs> oh, scale, calm down. <laughs> and here, uh, here's my weight. Hmm, 102 pounds. <laughs> Rochester, this scale is way off. I could have told you that when you read your fortune. <laughs> Never mind. Let's check this scale. Rochester, you get on. See how much you weigh, will you? Okay. Let's see if I got a penny. Yeah, here's one. Well, my weight is correct. Good. What does the card say on the other side? Let's see. Tell the previous fence that he put in a slug. <laughs> well, it's my scale. I can do what I want. Now, Rochester, did you lay out my clothes? Yes, sir. Your blue suit is on the bed. My blue suit? No, I wore that in the Easter parade last year. I better wear something else. Answer the door, Rochester. I'll pick out a suit. Yes, sir. Rochester always tries to make me look so conservative. 
This is the Easter parade. I should wear something springy. Let's see, what could I... I know, I'll wear my white suit. I bet it's as good as the year I put it away. Boss, Miss Livingston is here. Oh, yeah, she's walking in the Easter parade with me. Tell her I'll be right out. Okay. What are you putting on that white suit for? I'm going to wear it in the parade. But, boss, I think the blue one would look a lot... Rochester, I'm going to wear the white suit, and that settles it. Okay, okay. Is he ready, Rochester? He will be in a few minutes. Say, Miss Livingston, that's a beautiful dress you've got on. Well, thank you, Rochester. Hello, Mary. Happy Easter. Uh, happy... Jack, you're not going to wear that white suit. Why not? What's wrong with it? I haven't seen one like that since Admiral Byrd came back from the South Pole. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, if you're going to wear it, at least wipe that tomato soup satin off the lapel. That Same. tomato soup what? <laughs> Tomato soup satin? <laughs> tomato soup stain off the lapel. Well, what for? From a distance, it'll look like a red carnation. <laughs> now, come on, Mary, let's go. See you later, Rochester. Goodbye, boss. Goodbye, Miss Livingston. Bye, Rochester. By the way, aren't you going out walking in the Easter parade? Yeah, but first I gotta make a call to a girl I have a blind date with. I gotta tell her about a change in plans. Change in plans? Yeah, I told her to be on the corner of 6th and Central and look for a man wearing a white suit. <laughs> oh, so that's why... Well, wear our blue one. It's your turn to be conservative. <laughs> Come on, Mary, let's go. See, there are a lot of people out walking on Wilshire Boulevard. Yeah. You know, this is a wonderful time of the year. I know there's something in the air, a spirit of awakening, of, of romance. Makes me feel so young. And you know what they say, Mary? In the spring, a young man's fancy turns to love. <laughs> Give me your hand, Jack. Gee, do you feel romantic, too? No, we're coming to a curb, and I don't want you to fall on your face. <laughs> coming this way. Isn't that one of the boys in your Beavers Club? Oh, yes. Oh, it's little Joey Hudson. Well, hello, Joey. Hello, Miss Livingston. Hello, Joey. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hey, dig that crazy carnation. <laughs> See, I told you, Mary. Say, that's a mighty cute rabbit you have there. Yes, it's my Easter bunny. I'm taking him over to Mr. Benny's house to feed him. To my house to feed him? Why? My father says you've got more lettuce than anyone in Beverly Hills. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> goodbye, Joey. Goodbye, Miss Livingston. Goodbye, Mr. Banks. Goodbye, goodbye. You know, Mary, strolling down the boulevard today reminds me of that picture we saw a few years ago with Judy Garland and Fred Astaire. Oh, you mean Easter Parade? Yeah, that's the one. Remember at the start of the picture when Fred was walking along Fifth Avenue singing that song and the people answered him? How did that song go again? Never saw such a lovely day. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. It's such fun just to nod and say happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, oh, me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Isn't it right, Mary? They all answered it, just like they did in the picture. Yeah. Say, Mary, isn't that Bob Crosby and his wife? Where? Walking on the other side of the street. Oh, yeah. Well, hurry up. Let's cross the street and join them. But, Jack, it's the Easter parade, and maybe they'd rather walk alone. Oh, don't be silly, Mary. Bob would be insulted if he thought we saw him and didn't say hello. Say, June, isn't that Mary Livingston across the street there? Well, yes. It does look like Mary. But I wonder who that is with her. Well, I don't know, but from here he looks like Admiral Byrd. <laughs> Say, whoever he is, he's trying to attract our attention. He's waving his hand. Now he's waving his hat. Now he's waving his hair. It's Jack. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm amazed that he's this far down on Wilshire. He usually never gets past the California bank. <laughs> Gee, Bob, I hope he doesn't join us. Well, why? Well, I like Jack. But look at the way he's dressed. Well, just keep walking straight ahead and we'll pretend that we haven't even seen him. Oh, Bob! Bob! Keep walking, honey. There are a lot of Bobs. <laughs> oh, Bob! Bob Crosby! Keep walking, honey. There's another Bob Crosby in Encino. <laughs> oh, Bing's brother! He's got me. <laughs> kids. Why, Jack Benny of all people. Gee, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Hello, Mary. Hello, June. Say, that's a beautiful outfit you've got on. That mink stole is just exquisite. It sure is. Is it new? Oh, no. Bob brought it for me when he was with Campbell's Soup. <laughs> with Campbell's Soup? You know, the outfit that made your carnation. <laughs> We better be running along now. Yes, Bob. But aren't you going to walk with us? Oh, gee, we'd love to, Jack, but the kids are home all alone. We just got to get back to them. See you later. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Walking with you side by side. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Fills my chest with so much pride. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, oh, me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. Greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. That was nice running into Bob and June. Huh? Yes, it was. Gee, what perfect weather. Spring, the skies are clear, the flowers are blooming, the sun is shining. Hey, look who's here, my violin teacher. Bonjour, Monsieur Denis. Professor LeBlanc, this is the third year in a row we've met in the Easter Parade. You, I meet. Heifetz is always on the other side of the street. <laughs> What's the difference? We're both violinists. Sacre bleu. If we were in France, I would challenge you to a duel. Huh? Yasha Heifetz. There is a musician. A man with a heart. With a soul. When he plays his violin, I hear birds in the trees. Angels in Paradise. Well, what does it sound like when I play? Riot in Cell Block 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Professor, this is Miss Livingston. She was at the house the last time you gave me a lesson. Remember? How could I forget? She applied the tourniquet to my wrist. <laughs> oh, yes, that was such an unfortunate accident. Unfortunate? Yes. Accident? No. Oh, Professor, you wouldn't do a thing like that on purpose. Mademoiselle, when I go to give other people lessons, before I leave the house, I ask myself, have I got enough rosin? Have I got my violin stand? Have I got my music? When I go to Monsieur Beniz, I ask myself only one question. How am I fixed for blades? <laughs> Now, just a second, Professor LeBlanc. Just what's wrong with my violin play? Oh, Monsieur Benny, if you and Kid Gavalan would only learn to use your right hand. <laughs> well, I must go now. All right, Professor. Don't forget my lesson next Thursday and have a nice Easter. Goodbye, Monsieur Benny. Goodbye. Mary, I can't understand why he hates to give me violin lessons. I can't understand it either. You play beautifully. Well, I... Huh? Mary, that was sweet. What made you say that? Oh, I don't know. Just an impulse. Yesterday, I kicked a cop in the pants. <laughs> Sometimes you have to let yourself go, you know. Anyway, Mary, we're certainly running into a lot of people we know, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Bum, bum, ba da 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 dum Happy Easter. Happy Easter. You're so cute in that old white suit. Happy Easter. Hey, Happy Easter. Easter. My old me, there's so much to see as you stroll the 
there's so much to see and so we have a new. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Well, Don, Don Wilson. Oh, hello, Jack. Hello, Mary. Say, Don, would you like to walk down Wilshire Boulevard with us? Oh, I'd love to, Mary, but I'm on the other side of the street. <laughs> Yes, you lift your stomach, Don. Here comes a bus. <laughs> See you later. Come on, Mary. See, um, bum, 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 bum. Say, Mary, have you got a cigarette? Oh, sure, Jack. I have some right here. My... Oh, gee, I forgot to put them in my purse. Well, here's a drugstore. I'll step in and get some. Okay. Oh, clerk. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? <laughs> Ways of words, shaving cream, Queenex. No, no. I like to buy some... Magazines, uh... aspirin, sunglasses, white savers. No, no, no. All I want is... Seltzer, Tootsie Rolls, whiting paper. (laughs) I can't go into one store... Hold it, mister, hold it. As long as you're guessing and playing games, I'll give you a hint as to what I want. Now, what do you do that relaxes you and gives you pleasure? I take off my girdle. What do you do? Well, if you must know, I smoke a lucky, a lucky strike. Well, why didn't you say so? You want a pack of lucky strikes? Uh, yeah. There you are. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. Wait a minute. Don't go yet. Huh? Aren't you going to open your pack of luckies here? Well, if you want me to, certainly. There you are. Goodbye. Not yet. Oh. Aren't you going to take out a walkie and tear it down the center? <laughs> but uh... I make all my customers do it. Well, okay. There. See how the tobacco holds together? Walkies are made from long strands of flesh, queen. Good tasting tobacco. <laughs> That's why Wucky's Twikes are my favorite brand. Well, good, good, and thank you for showing me. Happy Weaster. <laughs> Jack, you got the cigarette? Yes, yes. Come on, Mary. Let's keep walking. Never saw such a lovely day. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. It's such fun just to nod and say Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, oh, me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. <laughs> well, Mr. Kessler. Mr. Kitzel, it's nice running into you today. A mutual pleasure, Mr. Benny. And how are you, Miss Livingstone? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Mr. Kitzel, you certainly look nice in those striped pants, cutaway coat, and top hat. Thank it's you. It's just right for Easter. Oh, thank you. But you know, I'm also wearing it for sentimental reasons. Oh. This is the suit in what I got married. Oh, when you got married? Yes. See, that must have been about 20 years ago. Yeah, funny how a little thing like that sticks with you. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, my, I'll never forget that ceremony. When they said, if anyone has any objection to this marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. Yes. A voice from the back hollered, don't marry her. Oh, my goodness, who was it? Me, I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> Mr. Kissel, you're joking. Unfortunately. Oh, uh, well, Mr. Kissel, it was a pleasure running into you on Easter, but we've got to be moving along. Goodbye, Mr. Benny. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Kissel. Goodbye. Ah, uh, you know, Mary, it's always nice running into Mr. Kissel. He seems so cheerful and... Hey, look, Mary, there's a photographer taking pictures of couples on the street. Oh, yes. I'm going to have him take our picture. Oh, no, Jack. I'm not going to have a picture taken with you wearing that suit. <laughs> All right, I'll have one taken myself. Oh, mister, mister. Yeah. I'd like 
to. I like to have my picture taken. Well, good. Just stand over there, Admiral. <laughs> I'm not Admiral Burr. Now, how would you like me to pose? Well, first, I'd better line you up. See there, that does it. And now, would you mind rolling your trousers up above the knees? Why, do you want to see my legs in the picture? Uh, no, but the less I get of that suit, the better. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. I've had enough insults from you. Hey, hold still. I've got you in focus. Now, open your mouth and smile. Like this? Ryder. 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 Why do you want my mouth open so wide? The less I get of that face, the better, too. <laughs> now, cut that out. If you're a photographer, I'm a monkey's uncle. You have a penis. <laughs> Come on, Mary. I'll get my picture taken some other time. How a guy like that ever expects people... Jack, roll down your pants leg. Well, come on, Mary. We'll walk as far as La Brea. Fun. Fun. Huh? Come here a minute. Me? Yeah. Excuse me, Mary. Yeah? What are you doing? <laughs> We're just strolling along in the Easter parade. How far are you going? <laughs> to La Brea. That's fine. What? You said you was going to La Brea, and I said that's fine. Well, wait a minute. Aren't you going to try to talk me out of it? Not me. This is my day off. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, happy Easter. Well, same to you. Same to you. <laughs> Come on, Mary. Uh, what happened? Nothing. It's all right. We can go to La Brea. <laughs> Come on. Never saw such a lovely day, Happy Easter. It's such fun just to nod and say Happy Easter. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Dana! Dennis. Hello, Mary. Hey, Dennis, you having a nice Easter? Oh, sure. I colored Easter eggs all morning, and then I hid them. Uh-huh. And then I told my mother to go look for them. Ooh, that must have been fun. Oh, no, it was a mess. The eggs splattered all over my mother's new dress, her two nightgowns, and six of my father's shirts. Well, Dennis, where'd you hide the eggs? In the washing machine. In the washing machine? Yeah, it was awful. Dennis, I don't understand this. Colored Easter eggs shouldn't splatter. How long did you boil them? Oh, boil them! <laughs> Dennis, Jack and I are walking down as far as La Brea. Would you like to join us? Sure, I'm not stuck up. Well, that's mighty decent of you. <laughs> Say, Dennis, while we're walking along, why don't you sing something? Well, do you think it'll be all right? I mean, here on the street? Well, sure. Everybody feels good today. It's they're all singing. Okay. <laughs> In your Easter bonnet With all the frills upon it You'll be the grandest lady in the Easter parade, I'll be all in clover, and when they look you over, I'll be the proudest fellow in the Easter Avenue, 
and you'll find that you're in the road of gravel. Oh, I could write a sonnet about your Easter bonnet and of the girl I'm taking to the Easter Photographers will snap us, and you'll find that you're in the road of gravel. Oh, I could write a sonnet about your Easter bonnet and of the girl I'm taking to the Easter. Ladies and gentlemen, one tiny burning ember from a campfire, a lighted and discarded match, or cigarette left to smolder or thrown from a car window can cause a frightfully destructive forest fire. So help prevent forest fires that destroy millions of acres of timberland, cripple watersheds, and blast our natural resources that are so urgently needed. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Thank you. Jack will be back in just a minute, but first, a word from the sweetheart of Lucky Strike. Hi, friends. This is Dorothy Collins. I'd like to take a minute of your time to talk about taste. Isn't it true that you enjoy a good, say, steak dinner because of the way it tastes? Well, I think the same goes for a cigarette. You like it because of the way it tastes. Really, friends, smoking enjoyment is all a matter of taste. And the fact of the matter is, Lucky's taste better. Here's why this is true. First, LSMFT. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Naturally mild, good-tasting tobacco. And second, Lucky's are made better to taste better. Made round and firm and fully packed, made to draw freely and smoke evenly when you light one up. Think of it. Fine tobacco in a truly better-made cigarette. Don't you think a cigarette like that will bring you all the smoking enjoyment you could possibly want? Try a carton of Lucky's soon. You'll see that smoking enjoyment is all a matter of taste. And the fact of the matter is, Lucky's taste better. So you be happy. Go Lucky. Lucky's taste better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky's taste better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. For Lucky's strike means fine tobacco, richer tasting fine tobacco. Lucky's taste better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky strike. Lucky strike. Is that you, boss? Yes, Rochester, I'm back. How was the Easter parade? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Everybody was dressed so nice. I ran into so many people I know. You know, I walk so far, my feet hurt. They do? Yes. I think I'll soak them in some hot water. Bring me that big pan in the kitchen. I'm sorry, boss, but somebody else is already using that pan. Who? The sound man. His feet hurt worse than yours. <laughs> oh, yes. Good night, sir. The Jack Benny program is written by Sam Perrin, Milt Josephsberg, George Balzer, John Tackerberry, Al Gordon, Al Goldman, and produced and transcribed by Hilliard Marks. The Jack Benny program is brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. Stay tuned for Amos and Andy following immediately over most of these stations. This is the CBS Radio Network. And KNX AM and FM Los Angeles. Art Frost, 100 car thing.